What's up guys, welcome to Valdora Kuhn. From our previous episode, we have witnessed the side stories of volume 8.5. All my deleted videos are on my second channel, Valdora Sama. Just a quick warning, these videos contain spoilers from the light novel. Also, don't forget to join our Discord community, Valdora Kuhn subordinates. The link is in the description box. So now in this video we will review what happened next, which is the prologue of Volume 9 highlighting Masayuki's origin. But before we will proceed, please like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now without further ado, let's proceed with the video. The Shining Hero Hanju Masayuki has been designated as a chosen hero. Despite the fact that Masayuki had never declared himself a hero, people began to refer to him as such for no apparent reason. It had only been a year since he first emerged in this world, seemingly out of nowhere, yet Masayuki's name was already well known across the Western nations. He's become a well-known celebrity. How did things get to this point? To understand, we must travel back in time one year. Masayuki was walking home from school with a group of friends when he came across an incredible sight. An Arctic lady with glossy blue hair and complexion that was fairer than any model or celebrities. Masayuki had never seen anything like her before. Hey, take a look at that girl. Masayuki addressed his buddies with the confidence of any masculine high school student. There was, however, no reaction. Masayuki turned around to find himself in front of the landscape of an unknown street, thinking to himself, hmm. I have no idea what's going on. Masayuki sat beside the town square's water fountain, unsure of what he should do. Worrying over it isn't going to solve the situation. He was able to remedy his present issue by retracing his actions and determining where everything went wrong. That woman, now that he thinks about it, was also suspicious. Despite her glamour, no one else seemed to notice her. But now she was gone. Masayuki couldn't find her no matter where he looked. She had vanished without a trace. Isn't this some type of silly prank? Is it possible that I've been transferred to an isekai? Shouldn't a king or someone similar be waiting for me in this situation to explain the situation, or at the very least assist me in getting started? Masayuki was running on an empty stomach. Masayuki was compelled to reconsider his predicament once more. Hanju Masayuki was his name. 16 years old. First year at a prestigious high school. He was a dashing young man, owing to his Russian ancestry. Despite the fact that it was a little detail, dyeing his hair blonde had helped him stand out. As a result, he was well-liked in school. Masayuki also had certain hidden interests, such as watching anime and reading manga. He never expressed it at school, but he was a secret attacku. He rummaged through the contents of his backpack and searched the pockets of his outfit. He had a wallet, a recently purchased magazine, a smartphone, and gum in his pocket. For emergency scenarios, he had an apocalypse kit. He could have lasted at least three days if he had taken it with him. In the end, he didn't have anything useful. Despite the fact that Masayuki was able to get by for a few hours, one thing became clear. He couldn't comprehend what anyone was saying, implying that this world's language was nothing like his own. In and of itself, asking for food would be a difficult task. It's awful not to be able to communicate with other people. And at this rate, he was going to die of starvation. Masayuki successfully made his way to the town's dinner hall after a short stroll. Other than the allure of food, he had no other reason to come here. As someone who has read a lot of isekai novels, the heroes have always seemed to be able to communicate with the otherworlders for whatever reason. Masayuki was the one who pushed the door open. However, the door was shoved open from the inside before he could do so. He took a step back, startled. In his chest, he felt a gentle feeling. The person that emerged was a sweet, small lady with a hesitant smile. The woman in front of him screamed out a string of phrases that he had no idea what they meant. Despite his full ignorance, Masayuki responded with a warm, sympathetic smile and a nod. The woman soon regained her calm after witnessing Masayuki's look. As she looked drunkenly at Masayuki, her cheeks were flushed blazing crimson. A ferocious-looking man stormed out. His aim is the woman who has come to Masayuki for assistance. The massive figure in front of him towered over him by at least a head. As though he were inebriated, the man's face was colored a scarlet red. He was armed as well, with a longsword slung about his waist. 
Masayuki tried to flee, but the woman grabbed his chest hard. However, an incomprehensible voice boomed in his ears at this time. A brave act of courage has been carried out chosen one is a unique skill that has been obtained. Do you want to turn it on? Is it a yes or a no? Um, I guess. Masayuki responded with a skeptic's attitude. This proved to be a defining moment in his life. Confirmed. Language mastering is achieved under the influence of chosen one. Subsequently, heroic spirit and heroic coercion have been activated. Masayuki's thoughts began to reverberate with weird phrases. Oi oi, whatcha doin' buddy? Are you attempting to obstruct my path? Because of the impacts of the unique skill chosen one, which had just awakened within him, he could quickly comprehend what the enormous guy was saying. That, however, was hardly a reason to rejoice. Masayuki had intended to apologize on his knees. But the woman who was holding Masayuki made a plea before he could do so. You're correct. This individual here said he'd come to my rescue. On the enormous man's temple, veins burst. He flexed his muscles and exuded an air of unadulterated might. Let's see you try bringing me down and guarding that girl, the guy said. The disturbance drew a throng as passers-by, and people from the adjacent stores arrived to see what was going on. Oi, oi, that youngster is fighting Jinrai, the crazed wolf. Shouldn't we put a stop to it? He's going to murder himself. That scumbag Jinrai, his fury has been burning since he failed the beer ank test. Knowing this, Katya refused to serve him. Damn, the that's way it is. He's enraged because she cold-shouldered him. Oh, dude, nothing will be able to stop him now. Ah, I'm afraid there's no time for chit-chat just now. It's going to be a tremendous problem if an adventurer kills folks in town. Someone, please call the guild. It's already been done. Furthermore, instead of simply talking, why don't you go and stop him? What are you talking about? Jinrai may only be a C plus on paper, but his strength much exceeds that of a beer ank. The only reason he didn't make it was because of his behavior during the exam, but his strength is genuine. That's not a challenge I'm willing to take on. Masayuki's heart swelled with hope and sadness as he overheard their chat. Have you made up your mind? Masayuki was still undecided, but the big guy was becoming tired of waiting. The barking of the weakest dog is the loudest. Have you made up your mind about what you want to do? How dare you come up to me and bother me? Just a few moments earlier, he was paralyzed by dread. His feet, on the other hand, had stopped trembling, we've got a badass on our hands. If that's the case, I'm not going to hold back. Jinrai smirked at Masayuki with a sly grin. When Masayuki saw Jinrai's vicious expression, he immediately regretted his decision. And that's it for my video. Thank you so much. See you on my next upload.